It's the weekly reset and infection rally return, and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, it is the weekly reset and Faction Rally has returned. Now there are a couple of new things to this Faction Rally. We will be able to purchase Faction Ornaments from the actual vendors, as well as Ghosts, Ships, and Sparrows specific to our actual Factions. When it comes to the Ornaments, you can hover over them in order to find out how to actually acquire them. So, we are going to go ahead and start with the milestones. We have choose a faction, which you need to pledge your loyalty to one of the city factions. Then we have Flashpoint on Mercury, which you need to complete public events and defeat Cabal Conquerors and Vex Defenders on Mercury. If you go ahead and do the heroic versions of that, you can complete it a lot faster. Then we have the Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is the Pyramidium. And the modifiers on that are Torrent, which your abilities charge a lot faster, as well as Time Warp Zero Hour, which there's no timer. Then we have the Leviathan, which you need to complete the Leviathan Raid, or the Eater of Worlds Raid Lair. Then we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, Crucible, and other world activities. Then we have Call to Arms, which you pretty much participate in Crucible matches. And then we have your Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three Heroic Strikes. So, we are going to stop by Tess Everest to find out what she has this week Welcome in her wonderful inventory. We have the uh, Don the Hat emote. As well as the Six Shooter emote. Then we have the Avalon Cruiser for the Sparrow, the Edge of the Worlds for the ships, then we have the Symbiosis for the Sturm, which is a weapon ornament, as well as Tesla's Revenge for the Wordcliffe Coil, aka Dubious Volley. This week we have helmets for uh, the armor of the week, which we have the Omega Mechanos crown for the warlock. As for our ghost, we have the Fire Victoria shell. Then we have Hive Arrival for your Transmat effect. As for Shaders, we have Xeno Silver. As well as Dawn and Dusk. And then last but not least, we have your Fire Team Medallion, your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, and Crucible. Now, as I did say earlier, the uh, Faction Rally has returned, and you are able to pledge your allegiance to your factions, and each and every one of them have their own uh, winner's offerings, but you also do have armor ornaments, and like I said, once you hover over these, it will tell you how you actually go about getting these. As for me, I'm going to be going one on each character, so my Warlock is going to be Dead Orbit, my Titan is going to be New Monarchy. I'm going to make my Hunter Future War Cult. Don't forget to visit Cade 6 in order to get those wonderful treasure maps and obviously turn in stuff from last week as well. <laughs> this week's treasure maps on Mercury. Which is pretty interesting. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.